Oh, the goat is rubbing against me. I just wanted to quickly qualify something that I'd said about Jesus actually being the devil. Uh, the heliocentric model is used as a sort of a sacrificial deity because it does is a God concept and thus embodies like a deity would embody um, a congress of brain-specific images of God-like influence. That's what people are talking about by the heliocentric model having any kind of successful effect upon human beings. And as successful as it is, it serves as a God concept. And thus its destruction is the destruction of a God that I do not think need be so essential to the flat earth as it is, except for the fact that the flat earth is looking for something to kill. And something has to die, just like Jesus as the devil has to die. And they ask yourself, who actually benefits from Jesus' death? Of course, Jesus' death is the death of Lucifer, because Lucifer is the only kind of death... And Lucifer is the only one uh, who stands to gain, necessarily, whoever Lucifer may be. I'm just using that as a symbol. But um, for a Satanist, for instance, the death of Christ serves them more than it serves Christians. And the Christian worship and dependence upon the death of Christ to absolve them from their humanity, because Christ was the ultimate human, it was their own humanity being sacrificed. And who benefits from sacrificing your humanity? When people that for whom the death of one's humanity is actually the salvation from one's humanity, not from any depravity of humanity. And this, to me, goes a long way to explaining the hypocritic, hypocritical and often inhuman behavior of however philanthropic Satanists or Christians alike that occupy various echelons, Christianity itself or the Islamic Brotherhood or any of these lower echelons being but lower white order cults of the cyber-Satanism to whom or to which all people are constrained, flat earth or not. And so this, this essential dependence of the flat earth uh, being resurrected in place of the death of the heliocentric model, or their necessary philosophical contention for a monopoly upon what is the true stature of man, both of which absolve man of anything, anything like a recourse to either his stature, or I would say, tellingly, um, a recourse to critical argument and discussion, um, to say nothing of the fact that these videos and my pretty much uh, refutation of the f a lot of the pretension of the flat earth cult, uh, death cult, um, should, would be considered by anyone who wasn't in a death cult, that being the flat earth, as essential to refining and tempering um, any kind of reasonable treatment, much less a safe space for everyone to make their determinations about how to enjoy the truth that is life and the images of life that we'll never completely comprehend without religious, which is to say God-like images that need not be constrained to the state and the state images of which need not be deplorable. Should we take it upon ourselves to exercise the kind of agency conferred upon every child by birth without disabusing them and interfering with their inner life and thought? which is excused by just about every occult economy in the world as though the sole source of one's salvation, um, which just precipitates a, a kind of um, incoherent desire for death of one kind or another in order to save oneself from not only destruction, but from life, from the life of... Uh, when the brain gets disoriented, it comes to be uh, make it harder for it to make distinctions and no less between what is actually deplorable to its own freedom and what is essential to it. Because, of course, you've lost your connection to the substance and compass for the proper coordination of mind and body with the visible, um, the uh, implicate, with the physical and invisible, the real and uh, phenomenal and psychological dimensions of the creation uh, in which man has never needed to suffer. God bless and blessed be.